struggling to survive, longing for happiness, their paths collided by fate. Conflict, deceit, and betrayal. Yet, hope blossoms. Suddenly, love is disrupted. Introducing our novel, Help, I'm a Lover, the Stripper. PDF copies of full novel now available. Simply type yes in the comment section and a link will be sent to you. Or visit at Debs on the Spot Corner if you like to sit back and relax while listening to the novel. Can love triumph against all odds? Find out on Love Able. Love Able. Hello and welcome to another edition of Love Haven. My name is Umi and I'm sorry guys, today's chapter is not the end of our story. We have one more to go and we will be done. <laughs> Alright, please note that for Love Haven stories after this one, we will be reading just extracts. Anyone interested in the full novel will have to send a request for the PDF version um, and it's absolutely free. Alright, so let me welcome all our first timers. Yeah, let's jingle the bells for them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, welcome to Love Avon. Welcome to Deb's Corner where we serve you valuable, insightful and exciting content. Alright, so please visit our channel to enjoy more from us at Deb's underscore Corner. Okay, let us not waste any time anymore. Let's go straight to the business of today. Previously on Help, I'm in love with a stripper. And who are you? I'm, I'm Pelumima. Oh no, you didn't complete your name. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm Pelumi the Kalama. It's Pelumi the Stripper. Chapter 12. Soon after Tyler sent the message, he freshened up and made his coffee. He was drinking it when he heard his phone beep. The first message he received was from Ibukun. I'm sorry, Tayo. I didn't know it was that deep. Give me time to make things right. Tayo, please don't put me out there. Please, I'm begging. Then another text comes in. The one he's been waiting for from Pelumi. Just the address of our hotel. He smiles, dumps his coffee, picks his car key and heads over to the hotel. He walks up to the receptionist and asks for Pelumi. The receptionist told him she had left in a hurry some few minutes ago. He became more worried. He drove down with so much hope that he would see her. He kept trying her number but she refused to pick. He became even more worried. Soon as Pelumi sent Tyre the address to the hotel, she got a message that her mom was rushed to the hospital. So she had to rush back home to see her mom. When she got home, she went straight for the hospital. Her mom had an attack. She went to the doctor and was told they brought her mom in too late. And with her condition, she will need a surgery, which will cost them about 10 million naira. Belumi falls down to the falls to the ground and weeps. Where in the world will she get that from? While they were still at it, the doctor got a panic call. It's Belumi's mom. And few minutes after, her mom dies. It was a tragedy for Belumi. She looked like she was going to run mad. All her dreams to make her mom happy unfulfilled. Two days after her mom's death though, she finally found her voice and approached the elders in the community and her mom's church. They had to find a way to bury her mom. They rallied around her and her siblings and put plans in place to bury her mom. To reduce the cost of keeping her in the mortuary, they decided to bury her in a week's time. Back in Lagos, Tyro caught Balumi's phone severally but she didn't pick. Soon her number became switched off. He didn't know what to do. So he decides to go back to the club to see if Wally can be of help. He was about tidying up his desk and stepping out when Yosola walked in. Hi Tayo. Oh, Yosola, how are you? I'm fine. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. I just need to step out for a while. Tayo, please hold on a second. Can, can I talk to you? I promise you, I won't take your time, please. Okay, go ahead. She suddenly walks towards his door and locks it with the key. Ty was wondering what that was about and the next thing he saw was Yosala on bought me in her shirt. Hey, 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 what's going on here? What are you trying to do? Tayo, I know you want me. You're free. There's no one in your life. You told me if Ibuku was out of your way, we could be together. She's gone now and there's nothing standing in our way. Yosala, are you okay? I thought we had moved past this and you decided to stay with Tomiwa. You don't love Tomiwa, Tayo. I love you. Can't you see? I've been hanging around for five years, Tayo. She starts walking close to Tayo. Hold on, Yosala. Let me explain how this will work. Excitedly, Yosala listens. Okay. Good. You will button up your shirt. You will walk back to my door and open it. 
then you will walk out of my office. And going forward, Yosala, do not come in here except you're called for, or perhaps I'm no longer working here. Huh? We have, if we have any work to do together from now on, we do it in the boardroom. Hmm? Now, here's the last part. If you take a step towards me, <laughs> the rage in me right now can strangle you and kill you. So, walk away. Yosala walks out in shame. Ta is totally surprised at Yosala's desperation. She lost all the respect she, he had for her. He was okay with her telling him about how she felt, but what, did she, what she did this afternoon was shameful. He would want Omiwa to stay off her. He heads over to the club to see Wali, and he explains the whole Kwalumi situation to Wali. Wali calls most of the girls Kwalumi moved to it when she was at the club. They began questioning if any one of them knew where her parents her parents place or anywhere she might have gone to then one of them spoke up i think lillian does the other day i saw her giving a woman a paper and describing the place to her she once went with pearl to greet her mom says Tadi. so they call in lillian lillian do you know palumi's house i mean her mom's house yes i've been there once but I only know her mom's shop at the bus park where we dropped. Um, she has a spot there where they fry beans cake for sale. I can't remember how we got to their place really, but people know her mom at the park. Please, how do I get there? Please write a description for me. When Lillian was writing, Tyler suddenly remembers that the other lady had said some, some something about someone asking for Belumi's address. Um, please, Lillian, who did you give her address to again? Oh, there was this woman Bosset told me needed to see her. She said the woman is Belumi's friend, so when I got to her, she said she wanted to see Belumi so she could help her family. So Wally summons Bosse to the office. A few minutes, few minutes later, Bosse walks in. Bosse, what is the name of the uh, of Belumi's friend that came asking for her address? Bosse eyes Lily and says, um, no one asked for her address. Bosse was jealous that I had high, had an eye for Belumi. In fact, most men do. She wasn't that lucky and she has always envied Belumi especially since she got there before her. So soon as she got the offer to get her information in exchange for a fee, she was more than willing to comply. Meanwhile, Tyler suspects that something shady seems to be going on, so he decides to press further. Hi, bossy. Hello, sir. Do you know me? Yes, sir. Good. So I just got a report that might send you to jail if you don't start confessing. There's a big issue at hand, bigger than you can imagine. All I need to do is dial the police and <laughs> I'll ask them to keep you in touch uh, keep you and torture you till you confess. So tell me now, what do you know? I'm really sorry, sir. The other day a woman approached me. She said when Lumi snatched her fiance that she needs my help to get him back. She asked me to tell her all I know about Balumi, which I did, and she also asked for some pictures and videos of Balumi that she needed to be sure I knew who she was talking about. So th then she asked that I give her some of the pictures and, and help her find out who knows her mother's place. How much did she give you? Two hundred and fifty thousand naira, sir. And what's her name? She didn't mention. Hmm. But if you see her, can you recognize her? Yes, she came twice to see me. Tara moves close to Bosse and scrolls through his phone to find Balumi's Ibukun's picture. He is so sure that this is one of her moves. He had deleted most of the pictures when they broke up, but he is sure he will find one or check her social media prof profile. Scroll back, sir. I just saw her. Who? The lady. So Tara scrolls back and Bosse says, That's her, sir. This lady. Yes, she's the one. She came with a blue jeep the second time. My goodness. He sat down because his legs just suddenly went weak. He can't believe who Bosse just pointed out. Yosola. After the burial, Balumi felt empty. She sat there and thought of all the days of stripping just so she could take care of her mom. It all came to nothing. She hated herself some more when her brother narrated the scenario of what led to her mom's attack. He said a rich lady had come to their house showing her mom her video and pictures that her mom should call her back from Lagos because she was about taking her fiancé from her. While she was scared of dating Tyre, she didn't think about the possibility of Ibuku going as far as her house to do this. So for her, she killed her mom. She felt like dying too, but who will be responsible for her younger ones? She can't forgive herself and she never wants to see Tyre or anyone connected to him. That afternoon, she was called by her brother that she had a visitor. She came out and saw it was Tyre. She wanted to run to him for comfort, but she's done. If Ibuku can go that far because of her man, <laughs> she wants no part of that drama. It has cost her a lot already. Tyra, please go back to Lagos. I don't ever want to see you or have anything to do with you again. She's dead. 
and she and these boys are the reasons I climb the pole every day. She especially, because I wanted her to have a bit of rest from her struggles. So she's gone now. I'm okay, okay? <laughs> Please, I beg you, no drama. Go back to Ibuku. Tell her that she doesn't need to come here anymore and that I am grateful to her as well. It wasn't Ibuku. Oh, okay. Who, who then was it? It was Yosola. Who the hell is Yosola? Some lady at my office who has a crush on me. Oh, wow. <laughs> Please, I hope I'm safe because <laughs> I hope no one else is coming for me. Please let them know eh, that there won't be any need for that anymore. I am done. They can all have you. She walks back into her house. Tao felt like he would run mad. He sees Kwelumi's brother, Shion. She had once mentioned him and asked if there was any good hotel around where he could pass the night. Shion takes him to a nearby hotel where, where he could sleep and pass the night. When Shion was about leaving, he had to speak with him. Shion, please, I need your help. I love your sister. I'm going crazy right now. Help me, Richard. Help me talk to her. Help me, Shion. I don't even know what to say. It's okay, sir. Just call me tired. No, no need for all that formality. Shion smiles. I'll speak with her. She was quite close to my mom. She just needs time to heal. I know, but I want to be there for her. Please. Okay, sir. Uh, oh, sorry. Uncle Tayo, I, I will. Do you have a phone? Yes, my mom's phone is with me. Okay, please let me have your number so I can always call to find out how she's, she is. She won't pick my calls. Okay, sir. Tyra stays two days more. But let me refuse to talk to him. He had gone back to Lagos because he had to go back to Lagos because of his job. But he kept on communicating with Shion. Tyra's parents have been calling and sending several messages to him, asking him to get his acts right and sort things out with Ibuko. He has refused to respond to any of their calls and messages. His siblings also called to ask what happened and he explained to them. They never really liked Ibuko, so they were indifferent. They felt she was always taking him for granted and <laughs> there isn't a lie to that. It's been three weeks since Bebimi refused to talk to him. Tayo is totally messed up. Okay, people, that's it for today. <laughs> How many people are feeling sorry for Tyra? I'm feeling sorry for him. Oh. <laughs> All right, do not forget that we have just one more chapter after this and then we are done. If you want the novel, the full copy, please just type yes in the section, uh, in the comment section rather, and we'll send you a link to the full novel, okay? And please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, share this post, okay? And visit my channel at devs underscore corner for more juicy content. So I see you again. I love you all. Bye.